Dun 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 Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. I got so many requests from you guys to make something else Game of Thrones themed and you know me, I love Game of Thrones so I definitely wanted to make another themed treat. I have read four of the books and watched all of the TV series. I love to host viewing parties with my friends and make themed treats and I thought let's make another one. The series is themed A Song of Fire and Ice and I even wore a shirt that kind of represents this. We've got Daenerys with her dragons, the fire, and then we've got Jon Snow with his little dire wolf, the ice. Today we're going to be making two different cupcakes, one for fire and one for ice. Let's get started. The first cupcake recipe that we're going to be making is a vanilla mint for our ice cupcakes. The things you'll need will be one and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, one cup of sugar, third cup of milk, one stick of butter, two eggs, one vanilla bean, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, quarter teaspoon salt, and one teaspoon of peppermint extract. Then for our fire themed cupcake we are going to be making a red hot cupcake recipe. The things you'll need will be two cups of cake flour, one cup of sugar, half a cup of milk, one stick of butter, two eggs, third cup of red hots candy, quarter teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, and two teaspoons of cinnamon extract. Now let's put it all together. The first cupcake that we're going to be making is the icy cupcake. Combine our dry ingredients, flour, baking powder, and salt. Then whisk together till it's well combined and set it off to the side. Now cream together sugar and butter. Mix together until it becomes light and fluffy. Add our eggs one at a time, mix it up, add our vanilla bean, make a slit down the middle, open it up so you can see all the seeds. Start at the top, press all the way down, scraping out those seeds. Oh, you guys, you can't smell this, but if you could, if you could smell this through your screen, it will make you smile. Got our vanilla seeds in there, add our peppermint extract, mix it in. Pour in about a third of the dry, mix it up, then half of our milk, mix it up, third of our dry, mix it up, the other half of our milk, mix it up, end with our dry, mix it up. Our batter is ready, it's time to scoop our cupcakes, fill each cupcake tray about two thirds full. The cupcakes are ready to bake, we're going to put these in the oven at 350 degrees and bake for about 12 to 15 minutes. To make our red hot cupcakes, it's a very similar process to our vanilla peppermint. Flour, baking powder, and salt. Whisk it together and set it off to the side. Once again, we're going to cream together sugar and butter until it's light and fluffy. Add an egg, mix it up. Add the second egg, mix it up. And then cinnamon extract. This smells so good, you guys. Mmm, smells like the holidays. All of our ingredients are ready. You guys know the drill. Alternate adding our dry and milk into our big mixing bowl, starting with our dry and ending with our dry. Boom! Batter! Last but not least, mix red hot candies into the batter. Just mix till they're all covered. Scoop the batter into each cupcake tray about two thirds full. Cupcakes are ready to bake. We're gonna bake these at 350 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes. While our cupcakes are baking and cooling, we're gonna get our decorations ready. We've got some different color rock candy. We have light blue and clear. Looks kind of icy. Some light blue frosting, orange, and red. We've also got two different color cupcake wrappers. We've got a sparkly red and a sparkly blue to look like fire and ice. Oh, I have a hair on me. Oh, it's connected. That was my hair. I've also got two piping bags with two different tips at the end, a 2D and an 809. We want our fire frosting to have little accents of orange. So I'm just putting a streak of orange into the bag. This is the bag with the closed star on the end. Now I'm gonna fill up the rest of our bag with our red frosting. Ooh, starting to look like a flame. Now we're gonna scoop all of our blue frosting into the other piping bag. Frostings are ready and I've assembled all of our little paper wrappers. They're very easy. They just attach in the back. Last but not least, we gotta get our rock candy ready. Take the light blue, place them into a Ziploc baggie. Take our clear rock candy, place that into another baggie. Then, using a rolling pin or whatever you have around the kitchen, give them a whack, crush them up. Get those candy crystals off the stick. This is also good training for fighting against white walkers. Just saying. I didn't even need any valerian steel. Just my wooden rolling pin. It's wooden. 
I'm like Arya trying to learn how to sword fight. It's not pretty at first, but then I get the hang of it. Both of our cupcakes have baked and had plenty of time to cool, and now it is time for my favorite part. It is time to decorate. I have vanilla mint wrapped in blue for the ice cupcakes. Then I have our red hot cupcakes wrapped in the red for our fire. To frost our ice cupcakes, hold it in the center of the cupcake, not touching the cupcake, hovering just like that, little hover. Press gently. It's gonna make a little frosting ball. Oop, then you're gonna do this to all of your ice cupcakes. Now using a small offset spatula, create a little home for our rock candies on the top so it looks like ice. Add light blue and clear rock candies on the top. Our ice cupcakes are looking good and now we're gonna decorate our fire cupcakes. Put a little bit of pressure at the base of the cupcake and then pull up and release. Then we're gonna do this to the rest of our fire cupcakes. Ta-da! Here are the fire and ice themed cupcakes that we made today. A big thank you to you guys for suggesting something Game of Thrones themed. I personally love Game of Thrones and I love making themed treats because I make them at viewing parties or if you have a Game of Thrones birthday party, these would make a good themed treat as well. For our fire cupcakes, we made a red hot recipe and for our ice cupcakes, we made a vanilla mint. I'll be posting the recipe and the pictures on rosannapancino.com. Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you guys make these treats or any other Game of Thrones themed treats, please take a picture and send it to me. I love seeing your baking creations. It just makes my day, it makes me happy. And if you have any other ideas for any other nerdy nummies, please let me know, leave me a comment down below, and I will do my best to make it happen. All right, thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye. Winter's here in cupcake form. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. 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 It's minty, it's refreshing, but it has some vanilla. I just want to eat it.